Um, the owner's complaining that the car is clicking and it sounds like it's coming from the dash, which I'm sure it's just an actuator, uh, like a blend door actuator. So we're gonna show you where this is located and uh, how to fix that. Usually on something like this, you would disconnect the battery, but for the purpose of you hearing the clicking, we're gonna leave it hooked up for now. As you hear that noise is driving the, the customer crazy, there's four blend doors on this thing. Um, the problem is, is the blend door, the gears actually were made out of plastic. So when they chip, this is what they sound like. Now uh, there's one on the driver's side and there's three of them over on this side. And some of them are a little harder to get at. The two over, two, three over here aren't too bad. Um, you can come up from the bottom um, by removing a couple clips down here. There's one right here. You could pull that out and pop that out. But for, and it would give you a little more space in case you wanted to come up from the bottom too. But on these right here, I think we can just do it. I open up the glove box here. I'm pushing down. And you can see these right here. They have to come down. And you can, when it's, when it's making that noise, you can feel it. But this one happens to be on the outside right there that's making the noise. And those are actually uh, two five fives holding it in. So it's kind of tricky um, to get at. But, it, it, you know, you can easily do it. And um, what you're going to want to do is get a quarter inch drive and a 5.5, five, but I actually went with my smaller one just because of lack of space in there and it's easier to pivot. Um, I've already taken the, the back one out and it just takes a minute. You just got to get it in the right position. You unscrew it. And this next one here is in the front, which hopefully you can see it. It's the, you can see the screw right there. Just gotta get your hand up in, in the right position to take it off. It's this one on the side. It's kind of hard to get at. There's only two five fives holding that thing in. You gotta break it loose, and once you get it, you gotta get the ratchet just in the right spot to get it out of there. Little turns, and don't unplug it after that. I removed the two five fives. And you just pull it straight out. And once it gets to this point right here, we're going to unplug it. Okay, you're just going to lift up on that right there. You're going to lift up on this tab and just pull it back, which is hard to see because my hands are in the way. Just like that. So you just lift up this tab right here and you unplug it from there. Like I said, there's four actuators on this thing. Uh, this is what they look like. You can uh, take it apart by popping these off. And looking at it and it has plastic gears and that's what's causing that clicking noise um anytime you go from hot to cold uh, window to floor a uh, passenger to driver uh, these gears move back and forth to move that blend door to the proper location and what happens is these plastic gears as you can see on this one right here actually chip like you can see it's missing a groove right there on this one and that actually allows it to sit there and just click, 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 because it can't engage and go where you want it to. This is the new actuator. You can see this is slotted. This little part right here has to go up on that white piece, right back up in there. And uh, it's easy that you, if you can grab that, which you can, you can grab it and you just kind of rotate it till it's at the same angle as your actuator is. And then you install it. Now we pivoted it up like that. Now we got it up here. You can see this hole is lined up where it screws in. So we're going to put that one in first. Put our 5.5 five in there. And I'm actually going to start it with my fingers, of course. But I'm going to use like this right here. Just so it doesn't fall out 20 times. And we'll get this one started. Then I'll start the back one the same way. You might not be able to see this with a camera because... It's tough to see everything here. It's pretty much, you gotta go by feel. Okay, I'm screwing it with my fingertips. You can see what it's gonna look like, just like that. And I'm gonna get this one started, and then I'm gonna do the other one, and I'm gonna tighten it up with my little ratchet. I know it's tough to see it, but it's just gonna give you the basic idea where it's at and what to do. Okay, I pull that off, and you can see we got one screw right there. That's in. Now there's going to be one more in the back, but it's kind of a, this job is kind of a more of a field and a C job. 
So I started both this 5.5 five and the one on the other side by hand. And then you, um, if you have either, I use this, or if you have something like this that ratchets to get in there. It's kind of tough to get in there, but you can do it. Um, and you tighten those up. They don't have to be that tight. And the last thing you want to do is you want to plug it in up there, which you can reach. Um, you could plug it in ahead of time, but it's easier to, you know, bypass the wire if you, for, you know, doing the ratchet and that if you don't have it plugged in. So, and the last thing we're going to do is, uh, so it's actually all done. There's, you know, we can test it real quick, make sure everything's working. It's not clicking. But the last thing you got to do is go hook up the battery. Before you start this, you want to disconnect the battery, of course. So we're just going to throw this on real quick, tighten up with our 10, and we'll go test it. Anytime you put an actuator and you want to disconnect your battery. Now that that's installed, like I said, there's four of them in here, but you can throw this. If you listen closely, you can hear them switching. And now our clicking's gone, and that's all it takes to install an actuator on a 2009 Chevy Impala.